As a kid, I, I always had nosebleeds, um, sometimes twice a day. And one morning, I, I'll never forget it. I got a call from uh, my daughter, who was Amy, to say that Grace was very, very sick at home and I needed to come home right now. Her husband carried her into the hospital. They tried to revive her and save the child and they lost both of them. We went to the doctor's office three times. Um, they did blood work, didn't feel he had any issues, that it was a migraine and that we'd have to wait it out. My daughter had 10 admissions, and it wasn't until really the ninth one that we found out what was wrong. It was found that it was a, an abscess and 120 milliliters of abscess. Um, five milliliters is considered dangerous to have that in your brain. Three visits to the emergency room to get someone to listen and to finally get a diagnosis. It was a relief getting diagnosed with HHT because we were able to you know, find out what was actually happening, and we could, we were able to treat it after that. HHT stands for hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. It is an inherited condition or a genetic condition. It's estimated that about one in 3,000, maybe one in 5,000 people in the United States have HHT. The symptoms we often see are frequent nosebleeds and red spots but there are those with what we call invisible symptoms. Um, and these may be very difficult for both patients, families, and their physicians to find. Most families, unfortunately, have to have their own catastrophe before they realize that this isn't just a nosebleed disorder. We almost lost Anthony because of the delayed diagnosis of HHT. Because of the lack of awareness of HHT, my daughter died a week before she was to attend an appointment that could have saved her life. In this disease, abnormal blood vessels develop in various parts of people's bodies. An AVM, or an arteriovenous malformation, is a direct connection between an artery and a vein, bypassing the capillary that should be connecting them. As a result of these abnormal vessels, various symptoms and complications can develop. I think one of the biggest challenges that we face right now is, is awareness. If you have this, the odds are about half of your family members have it also. And they could have these terrible tragedies like we have had, but if they know they have it and they get diagnosed, for the most part, they're treatable. Up to 90% of people in our country are unaware of the diagnosis of HHT, even though they have it. Everybody needs to be tested with HHT. The reason for this is because AVMs can be present at birth. I've actually had a three-week-old patient have a stroke. We saw a 30-year-old father in clinic yesterday that has a two-year-old on life support because of a ruptured AVM that has known for 15 years that he had HHT because of his recurring nosebleeds, but just assumed that since the nosebleeds weren't bad, that this wasn't anything he needed to worry about. When HHT is suspected, a series of tests are necessary to first make a diagnosis and secondly to understand the full scope of HHT's impact in an individual. We recommend that every baby born to a mom or dad with HHT be tested right at birth for HHT. We know too many babies in HHT families that have a brain bleed from an AVM in the brain long before they have a nosebleed. It surprises me that HHT is not even mentioned in some medical textbooks. And if it is mentioned, it usually only warrants a single line or two. It's the same order of magnitude as cystic fibrosis. And yet most people have heard of cystic fibrosis, very few have heard of HHT. If we would have known about HHT much earlier, the consequences would have been much less severe. After Grace died, we got the rest of our family screened. The youngest, Julia, presented very, very ill, and she was rushed to hospital where the doctors knew about HHT, and they saved my daughter. And the fact that we knew more about HHT is the reason why she's alive today.
as genetic disorders go, we see HHT as a very manageable disease if it's diagnosed early and screening is done early to prevent the more severe complications of HHT. We must find who has HHT and screen them for the presence of AVMs so that they can be treated appropriately. My family, like most HHT families, has suffered dire consequences of HHT. We had a child die, my, my daughter at 18 months, before we realized that this was something to take seriously. My wish is that no other children will die from this disorder. We need people to understand, especially the medical community, what HHT is. As for me and my family, we want that screening just as soon as possible. My daughter Grace died in my arms. Um, and of course that's never gonna go away. And, and she could have been saved. That's the terrible part.